Hello, you guys. Today we're gonna do like a really, really simple dish. Um, maybe it'll come together in like just a few minutes. And I would say this is kind of like a little appetizer thing. Guys, if you know me, you know how much I love beetroots. And so we're gonna do like a little beetroot carpaccio. If you have like, it's kind of like a vegan, a vegan take. No, not vegan, because there's like some Parmesan cheese. But if you're vegan, you don't have to make, you don't have to use that. It's just sort of like, um, like a beef carpaccio, which is thinly sliced beef, like filet mignon, all like layered out onto a little plate. And I'm gonna do that with beetroot. So um, with a little bit of like um, olive oil, some vinegar maybe, you could use lemon juice, but, um, and I'm gonna shave over a little bit of Parmesan. Parmesan? Parmesan, I don't know. Let me show you how it goes. All right, so let me grab a knife right here. It's kind of peel this uh, beetroot just now. So look at how nice and crimson this guy looks. Love a little beetroot. So um, what we're gonna do is maybe just take this part off so we have like a nice flat surface. And we're gonna try and like, it doesn't have to be paper thin, but you know, like a nice thin slice of beetroot. Um, you know, you can have it a little thick cause um, it's, not, it's not beef carpaccio, but. Um, it's got a nice bite to it. It's got this nice earthy flavor. And I think it's, an, it's like a really fun way to um, enjoy this vegetable, which is, I think it's in season in the fall and winter. So yeah, go to your local farmer's market, grab a little beetroot, and make this dish. So I'm not gonna use all of this because the plate I have for this recipe actually kind of matches matches this beetroot color, which kind of inspired me to, to make this dish. So let's start off with that much. Let's put this to the side and look at this nice little plate. So first things first, I'm gonna hit the plate with a little bit of salt, just on the bottom, and a little bit of cracked black pepper. You know, you wanna season the bottom of this too. So we're gonna go in with our olive oil. Like, just around the plate, just like that. So that's our base. And if I, I don't have a lemon, but you know, just kind of working with what I got, kind of swirl the olive oil around. I would say use, use good quality olive oil for something like this, where you can really taste it. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our beetroot and kind of lay it down on the, on the, on the plate, like so. And uh, yeah, this is delicious. Just sort of like layering it, shingling it down, kind of like so. And you can even like lift this one up and put it underneath, so like that. And let's put like one in the center too, just, just so we have it there. I know the, the plate matches the color, so it's maybe a little lost. I'm gonna hit the top with a little bit of salt. I'm just using kosher salt right now. And um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more olive oil, just kind of on top. I'm trying to kind of drizzle it on top. Kind of like that, there we go. And I guess if I had goat cheese, I think goat cheese would go, go great with this, but I don't, so I'm just gonna crack in a little bit more pepper. Let's move this to the side, like so. And I have a nice little chunk of Parmesan cheese right here that I'm gonna grab a little cheese grater and then grate it in. A little bit of Parmesan, a little cheese grater. Just, just the right side. Yeah. This is a little salty, it adds a nice like umami flavor, I think. Kinda like that, we can add a little bit more, why not? Who doesn't like Parmesan cheese, you know? And I'm also gonna add a little bit of dill. So I have some dill here, I'm just gonna sprinkle on over. And uh, yeah, this is like kind of a, just a cute little appetizer dish, if you guys need ideas. Like super easy, all you gotta do, oh, for, to, to, to cook the beetroot, um, this one I cooked in the oven, but you can also boil it if you like. Um, sheesh, oh, it's not the, most cleanest looking dish, but super, super yummy. All right, so let's do a little taste test. You see, I think it's interesting to find inspiration for dishes 
I remember Marco Pierre White, this really cool chef, was like one of the dishes in his restaurant that he um, that he made was inspired by the pattern in the um, in the plate. So because this plate is um, like purple color, I was like, wow, why not a little beetroot carpaccio? And all right, it's a good thing this thing isn't sliding off, but yeah, this is super super simple, um, just like very very natural flavors. And I think a good thing is just kind of let the flavor speak for itself, you know? So let's grab a little slice of beetroot. Like, so, look at that. You gotta bite everything on it. Oh wait, I need vinegar on this. Sheesh, can't forget that. You can't have that. I'm just using some red wine vinegar. You know, splash it on top, all over. Just cause you, you need a little bit of vinegar or, or, or lemon juice I think would go good, great with this too. But check it out. Hmm. That's good. And really simple. Really fresh. Well, I'm gonna bite this now. But yeah. That's good. It's a really simple, fresh recipe. Oh my god, I just swallowed a pepper. <coughs> oh my god. It happens. It happens. All right. Um, yeah, like I was saying, like a simple recipe, just a little bit of salt and pepper, nice olive oil. You can really let the ingredients speak for itself. But, and I like the little dill um, addition to it. It gives it like a little bit of freshness. Mm. Really good. So I guess if you're more vegetarian, you can make this as like a sort of fun substitute for beet carpaccio. Beef carpaccio. So it's beet carpaccio. It's one letter off. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. A really easy recipe. It takes about five minutes to make. All right. See you guys later.